Well, hello. Welcome back. We're going to go ahead and get set up for a new week. So I am using a slightly different camera than I normally do. So if it gets real crazy with the way that things look or the way that things sound, that's why, just to give you a heads up. So first things first, we are going to, or I am going to rather, go ahead and put down a big sticker right here just to cover up this calendar. I have been doing this for the past few weeks. I really like it. I really enjoy it. So let's see. I've got a few different ocean ones. I'm not feeling super jazzed about these. They're very, very blue. And then for the red ones that I had pulled out before, I'm kind of feeling this one. It's not really ocean themed, but it is watery and red. Mm, we've got that dude. That's kind of cute, very like ocean. Kind of like that one. And then just a lovely little sky. Mm, you know what? I think I am going to go with this one right What? Well, where do I want to go with this one? Ooh. No, I'm going to go with the water. Keep it on theme. So in addition to having a different camera than I normally do, I also have my dog here at the office and he's adorable. But if you hear a dog going crazy in the background, that's him. He's a little terrier. He's got no chill for just about anything. So, you know, that's cool. It just is what it is. So that fits in super nicely. This one is a little bit big, so I'm just gonna trim it up real quick. So last week I was talking about the variety of different times I've run into people with foot fetishes trying to, uh, you know, get me involved with it. And it made me think of this other time, also at Borders. This does not involve uh, anybody with a foot fetish. But one time, I so I was young when I was working there. I think I was like 21 ish 2021 kind of floating in there so that is looking good i'm gonna go ahead and do my little side trackers coming down in this bar so i was like 2021 and i worked in the cafe part of it but one time we had so there was a whole closing procedure of where did those little guys go oh here they are there was a whole closing procedure so that if you were part of the closing team you had to everyone had to leave together clock out at the same time, get your bags checked, walk out with the manager as they set the alarm. So we were getting ready to go home for the day. Everybody is ready to like go home. And my manager walked out first and all of a sudden he just came back and he was like, nope, nope, everybody get back in the store, get back in the store. <laughs> and he called the police because there was a naked man in the bushes he was like bear crawling through all of the bushes outside of the store. And then apparently I didn't actually see this, but from what I heard, he popped up, uh, found a tree that he thought was just very attractive. And he was making sweet, sweet love to that tree. <laughs> and we had to call the police and wait for the police to come and take care of him. And uh, that was another really memorable time at Borders. It was a, it was just an interesting store. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And uh, yeah, that was, that was an eye-opening experience. I mean, I had been in customer service for a few years at that point, so it's not like I was unfamiliar with all of that, but that was definitely the first time that a naked man was like outside of one of the stores that I worked in. So that was super fun. <laughs> just, just the time. Okay, I didn't actually really think this through all the way because I have to write stuff here and it's probably gonna get a little bit, hopefully I don't smudge anything. I might. I 
I'm going to skip out reading and change one of the things that I am tracking for this week. Perfect. I pop in and out of being vegetarian. It is something that I find really important, but I also have some uh, body health issues that make it really challenging at times. And so I stick to it when I can. And then when things get really wonky, I kind of pop back out and, uh, it's just sort of an ongoing thing. I was vegan for about a year, uh, which I mentally really enjoyed, really liked, but my body did not enjoy it. So that was an unfortunate, but also really difficult and uh, trying time. So I have an issue where like my body doesn't really seem to process iron super well. Um, or B12. And I was supplementing. I was trying really hard to have a, you know, balanced diet and all of those kinds of things. But I've just got some stuff going on that is sort of outside of all of that. And I ended up going super anemic in both iron and B12. And the way that that tends to present for me is like really extreme shortness of breath. And at the time I was working full-time as a librarian, and I did a baby story time called Mother Goose on the Loose. It's a nationwide program. It's super adorable if you have babies. I highly recommend it. It's just super, super cute. And I know sometimes the idea of a baby story time doesn't really make a lot of sense, but they're super valuable and super helpful. So I'm going to use this little radish uh, sticker. This is from the Cartoon Girl set that I really, really like and use pretty frequently. So I'm going to go ahead and use a little radish because it's red and it fits in with my theme. And I'm going to use that for my little dinner tracker. Just pop them right on in there. Bloop. Little radish. But it meant that that program is a lot of singing, like a lot of singing. And it got to the point where I was so short of breath that I I could not actually do the program. I had to like stop and take breathing breaks, you know, catch my breath. And this was a couple of years ago. This all predates COVID. And it just, it got so bad to the point where, you know, I went to, like one time I was at work and I was, I was struggling in such an obvious way that my manager at the time was like, mm, you need to go to the ER and sent me off. And they basically said, well, there's not really anything that, we can do here for the specific one that I would, cause it wasn't like an ER attached to a hospital. It was like a little outpatient ER that was close to where I worked. And there was a whole thing with my insurance and it was just a, it was just a problem. So basically I wound up going to a different doctor and they were like, well, I mean, you could be having a pulmonary embolism. It could be something cancerous. I mean, it could be all sorts of things. And so I had to do a CT scan and a bunch of other tests and jazz and I've got where am I down here oh man I totally did not fill this weekend with my little memory so I'll just see what I can go back in and remember for this this is a good example of why I do weekly trackers because we're down here in this week and I am really bad about going in if my trackers are on a separate page and filling things in whereas on weekly pages even if I'm not good about it I do know when I have done things, it's much easier for me to get in and track this way. So that's super cool. So yeah, I don't really have anything going on this coming week already, which is fine. You know, weeks are like that sometimes, but let's see. I think I'm going to go ahead and pop in some of my regular tasks. Oh, I already grabbed them. We're down here. Okay. So I'm going to grab this one. And this one, we're going to stick in with the regular things that I need to be working on. And I have been coming in a little bit later 
but working later. And that has been actually seeming to work out pretty well for me. So I think I'm going to go ahead and stick with that. And that way I've got like some nice morning time to myself and that it's just been going really well. So where do I want to put these? I think I'm going to go ahead and pop these in right in the 11 o'clock hour. Actually, no, I'm going to put them in the 1130 hour. But I think this time I'm going to have it set. So it's not something that I'm doing every single day. I'm going to try for every other day. I have been working really hard on a quilt this past week, and that's been taking an ample amount of time to get done. But it's really coming along super nicely. So I'm really pleased with how that has been working out for me. Oh man. Oh dear. Oh, man, I'm having all sorts of issues. Okay, so I have got those. Now, let's see, what else do I want to do? I'm going to go ahead and pop in my Sunday stuff. Get that in there. And I'm just going in with one of the Coffee Monsters. Oh, actually, I guess I'll use up the last of this little laundry emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. And then we're all done with it. I do really enjoy the satisfaction of using up a whole sheet. That is nice. I think I'm going to pop him over to the side this time. Let's see, what else do I need to do? I need to clean out my car. Oh, actually one thing that I do need to do is get a oil change because I haven't done that in a while. Well, that is looking pretty good. I am going to go ahead and add in a little bit of decoration. So I've got my little undersea kit and we're going to pop it out and see what all we're working with right now. Okay, we've got a little flower, some shells, whatever that thing is, that thing. Mm, I could do, oh, I could do like a little layer. That would be kind of cute. I like that idea. I've also got a little pineapple. Hmm. How much do I want to do? I don't think I like the pineapple there. Oh, I could bring this in right here up top. That would be kind of cool. Yeah, I think I'm going to bring... Where do I want to bring this one in? Oh, nah. I think we're gonna bring this one in, put this one up top, right like that, in the middle. I thought we were going to get a tropical storm or maybe a hurricane, Fred, but we did not. I think it's just gonna be a depression. It's just gonna be a really wet weekend, which is cool. That is nice. Okay, so we're gonna pull these aside. I think I am gonna go ahead and layer these together. So I'm going to put this one down on t on the bottom and then put the other one down on top. Here we go. And that does have little flowers on it, which is pretty cute. I'm thinking for my theme for next month that I'm going to do mushrooms. I don't know exactly when the first day of fall is but I might do like a fall mushroom theme. Maybe do like brown. That would be pretty cute. I haven't done anything like that yet. 
Okay, so we've got that. It's looking nice. And now I'm gonna go ahead, come in here and just highlight all of these. Oh, but going back to it, so they thought I had a pulmonary embolism or some other hideous thing going on. And in actuality, I finally found a good doctor who ran a gigantic panel of blood work. And it was just like, nope, you are super, super anemic. And that is causing all of the shortness of breath and the dizziness and the fatigue and all of the stuff that I had going on. And so once I started like really, really, really heavily supplementing with that, it was much, much better. So, you know, but now I know how to recognize when I'm dipping into being anemic again. So that's been fun. So I think I might be done actually. This is a pretty simple and easy little setup. I don't have anything pre-planned for next week, so that's, I think that's pretty much it. That felt super fast, super speedy, so I think that's it. Well, I hope this was interesting and helpful, and if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more from me, then definitely subscribe, come back, check on me. I would really appreciate that. That would be awesome. And then I think that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you next time. Bye.